everyone, today we're gonna do a quick comparison of these three printers. I got an SP1, SP2, and SP3, and these are all from Fuji Film. And this is the newest one they have. I just did an unboxing for you guys with this one. And then this one is the SP2. I didn't do unboxing on this one because it's kind of similar with the SP1. And I'll show you guys how they look like. Here we go. So this is how they look like without the boxes. And you can tell that there's like significant difference between the version 1, version 2, and then version 3. And their prices are significant too. So this one starts with 119. This one is only like 129 which I don't get why this one is more expensive. I mean, they're $10 off, but this is the second version with a battery, but it's only like 10 bucks more. And then the new one, which I did an unboxing the other day, is the $199. And remember, this is only like a tag price in it, not including your tax where you live or what state you are in. So this is how it looks like. Again, they vary in price, 119, 129, and 199. The only problem I get with these things is the battery in here doesn't last that long, so I have to purchase more and more CR2 batteries. Let me let me put this two down so I can show you this one. So the SP1 is controlled by a CR2 battery, which is like right here. So you can see in here so if I open it up if I can open it it goes to like a little container and flips it so as you can see there's two batteries in here and this is not like the typical battery you can just go in the store and buy it it's kind of weird how it looks like it's little and tiny and this is used to be batteries when you are on a an old Kata camera so you need two of these which is like so expensive I think they're like 15 bucks or something like that and then you can buy the charger for it and it's right here like a, a like a DC charger but it's another accessory you need to buy and then the film on the SP1 is the regular film that you use exactly with your Instax camera so if you have those Instax colorful one, I used to have one but I give it to my sister because I have this one already. So it does the same film that you use it. Let me see if I can grab some. So here is how it looks like for the Fuji Instax SP1. The regular camera print is this Fuji film like this. And when you open the box, it looks exactly like, like this. And then it says Instax Mini, the same Instax Mini that you use for Instax Mini as the other Instaxes. And then when you're done with it, this is how it looks like when it's empty. Usually, I got an idea from my sister that she used this as a frame. So I'll show you guys some DIYs on how you can repurpose this and recycle it and don't throw it away. So that's what it is an SP1. It's the SP2. That's the front look. And then this is how it looks like. So the SP2 has a slight different change with the SP1. As you can see where the film comes out this is kind of like skinnier and this is kind of like bigger and rounder so you can see that that's the difference between the two and then their batteries are different because this one uses a charger and it has a battery in it this one has the typical battery that you buy in a store so on sp2 going forward you can see the battery comes in here and then you just flip. this is what I'm scared of on little printers like this because I'm pretty clumsy and one little wrong move this little latch that comes in here I think I'm gonna break and then the battery comes out if you press this little button in here and then you take the battery out so here's the little battery looks like a cell phone Samsung cell phone battery so that goes in there and then you charge it and you don't need the CR2 batteries comparing the SP2 to the SP3 so many SPs this is how they're comparable 
the big concern about the SP3 is they are on a different ball game. They don't use the same Instax printer photos from your Instax. They use a new different filter which is the Polaroid printer for a square photos. So you need a special a, um, special Polaroid which is this one that it says Instax Square. So that's another marketing scam. Thank you Fuji. But we're buying it because it's like the new cool thing. But anyway, so you can see this is the Instax Square and this is the SP3. And then the only difference between this thing you your pictures on your Instagram goes directly onto your phone and then it directs on from the SP3 and then it doesn't look distorted or it doesn't look weird halfway and then it will be just nice. So yeah, that is uh, my comparison be between these three. Um, physical comparison, you can see all the difference. This is way rounder, this is way flat with a chrome base. I think you can get a different color in there too. I think they got gray if I'm not mistaken. And then you have this beautiful ombre matte color. <laughs> Um, copper and black matte and this is the three um, Fujifilm printer SP1, SP2, SP3 um, in my opinion if you don't want to spend 100 or 200 dollars more just get the SP1 this works great I print so many photos in here and then just spend more money on buying the the charger but I think the the little charger is um, kind of prices do so if you don't have money like so kids like this is like a big thing for kids now they just want printers and a Polaroid so this is it so there you have it this is all the three printers from Fujifilm for your Instax camera and then for your Instax printer this is my opinion I think you just stick on to the old one do the same exact job it's not just new technology changes so much so maybe in the next couple months this two will be out and then you need to buy another one. But if you like to do square prints, like square square ones, this is a good one. And then for you to see a tutorial on how to connect these devices on your phone and how to print them and how to connect onto your Fujifilm camera, watch my other videos and have fun. See ya, thanks for watching.